Hey guys, some of you may be wondering what the heck is going on with my engine. Well, I've come to a point where I have a whole bunch of loose ends that I need to tie up and I'm not quite sure exactly how to proceed on a few of them and I don't want to mess anything up by starting my engine without having had the proper advice and inspections. So I've talked to a couple friends, one of whom has agreed to come out to the boat in the next couple weeks and go over some things with me and look at some problems and help me troubleshoot. And um, I'm also saving up a little bit of money at work um, so that maybe I can get in touch with Meredith and have her come and look at everything really before I start the engine um, because I don't want anything really bad to happen like happened when I when I attempted to single hand around Vancouver Island and my engine died um, because I didn't install something correctly. So that's where I'm at right now and in the meantime everyone needs a little break to do some self-care and to focus on some other things and one thing I've been thinking about lately is um, my presentation of my appearance in the marine industry. Ever since I've been working in the marine industry I've always prided at myself about not really giving a shit about how I look. Um, like my hair can be as frizzy as it wants, I don't care, I don't wear makeup, I don't care about my clothes, I just don't care. I just fit in at work like one of the guys. And I realized that that's not because I really uh, necessarily wanted to or found it the most interesting or fun to be that way, but it's more like I was afraid to do anything else because I didn't want to be disrespected. And I realized that that was kind of some internalized misogyny of my own. And um, so, and also it makes me wonder, okay, am I looking at other women who, who do dress up? Um, am, I, am I like unconsciously looking down at them? I don't know. I mean, I don't think so, but maybe I am. So that's a problem. And I decided that, and I also realized that, you know, like deep down when I look in the mirror and my hair is huge and frizzy, I don't really feel good about it. So I wanted to take some time to really understand my curly hair um, and how to take care of it, what products to use. So I kind of fell down a YouTube rabbit hole of my own in the past couple weeks. And I, uh, I watched a lot of hair care channels like Mains by Mel, uh, all about curly hair care. And um, I've learned quite a lot. And I wanted to share what I've learned about how to um, take care of your hair in a particularly humid environment. So my routine is I get in the shower and I uh, get my hair wet. Then I apply this, um, I'm trying this Diva Curl conditioner. I got my hairstyles for the first time in like 20 years and this is what the guy recommended. Um, so I work that in. It doesn't lather a lot and it doesn't feel super smooth going in, but I think that's because there's not supposed to be any buildup. So trying it out, it's kind of expensive. I might not stick with it. But yeah, I just work it in from the roots um, to the, uh, or I, I work it in from the ends to the roots. Um, because that was what my research told me to do. Um, just trying to do everything um, as to the book as possible here. And then I rinse all that conditioner out and I don't towel dry my hair, I just wring it dry because uh, the towel would dry it way too fast and it would make it frizzier when I'm blow drying. After I do the conditioner, I brush my hair when it's wet to get all the tangles out. And then I have my spray bottle. This is just water. I just bought a bottle because I couldn't find a spray bottle. Um, and I dumped out what was in it and I put water so that when I'm um, blow drying my hair, um, the frizzy parts that um, dry quicker, I can keep them wet um, so that they don't dry frizzy. Until now I've been using this Diva Curl, um, but I want, and it's been working great when I go to work. Um, I just can't be out in the humidity for too long or the curls lose their definition. But there's this other product that has something called um, polyquats, polyquaternions that um, are supposed to be really good for humidity 
and I just picked up this random one at um, Fred Meyer. And I'm gonna see, um, I've seen some reviews of them, and I thought at Marina it would be really good to have a have a product with this stuff in it to keep the curls curly. It like sheaths your curls um, in these chemicals, and it, it like locks them against any humidity getting in. Um, but they also cause buildup, so I think it would be better to use these on a day that's closer to the day I'm going to wash my hair. I wash my hair like once a week.
Okay. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Up we go. Okay, let's see how we do. Dog has a little issue with other dogs. She loves people, but she just can't stand dogs. You know, I think. Okay, okay, honey. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. I think it's not that she can't stand other dogs because one time. Okay, the dog is gone now. It's not that she can't stand other dogs. It's that um, she doesn't like to be confronted with another dog when uh, she's on a leash, when she's restricted. Uh, because one time I went to visit, the dog is gone, honey. Um, there's no other dogs here. Okay, there's a bird, maybe. She doesn't like birds either. Um, but one time I went to visit a friend up on Camino Island. She had a 50 pound pit mix. And uh, my dog, of course, went crazy at first because the bigger the dog, the crazier she goes. And, um, but yeah, so she went crazy at first, but then my friend gave me the idea that I should just take her off the leash and see how she does. And at first I was like, what? No, she's gonna go after your dog, or the reverse. Um, but then I did it, and she felt like because she was off the leash, I think, that they were on equal footing, that she was free, and that she didn't have to be so um, nervous because she could move when she wanted to. And they played, and they there was a big yard, and um, they uh, they actually kind of got along. They chased each other. Um, she didn't seem very anxious. So I would like to find more places where that sort of uh, interaction is possible. It's just not possible around here because um, at a marina in a parking lot, you always have to have your dog on a leash. So. Um, dog parks maybe in the summer. I'll try that. So we've made it all the way over to the marina office. Um, and it's not that rainy out. It's not rainy at all. It's just overcast. So I didn't really get a chance to test the hair in like the most humid possible conditions today. Um, but I mean, I'm feeling it now. It's still pretty crispy and crunchy. We're not gonna really know for sure until I get back to the boat. Hey, stay. All right, come on. Come on. cold out there. I had to get those washboards closed fast because I didn't want all the heat from the radiator heater to escape from the cabin. Um, okay. So, all right. Let's look in the mirror and see what the verdict is about this not your mother's curl talk, curl activating mousse. Well, it looks like my curls are still perfectly defined. There's very little frizz. There's no more frizz than there was when I blow dried it, which was almost none. Um, so that's great. They are a little crunchy, which is less than ideal. Um, but that's okay. I'd rather have them be crunchy than frizzy or um, not having the right shape. The one thing I do like about the Diva Curl, though, is I've been using Diva Curl for a couple weeks. 
and it leaves your hair so soft, but it also makes it well defined and gets rid of the frizz. But the only problem with it at the marina is that since it doesn't have that ingredient, that, um, that like polyquaternium ingredient, it doesn't sheathe your hair against the humidity. Um, so when I'm, like, if I were to have walked my dog and I was wearing the Diva Curl, I know that my curls would have, like, fallen out a little bit and gotten frizzier during that time. Um, so I don't think the Diva Curl would be the right product for me to use on the days when I'm planning to hang out at the marina a lot and walk around outside a lot. Uh, I do think it's the right product for me to use when I'm going to work because I can wake up in the morning and I can walk my dog before I shower instead of after. Um, and then I can put her in my car with a little blanket because I like to bring her to work with me sometimes. And my car is really close to the bathroom, so I can, I can go to the bathroom from there and if it's raining or something, um, I have this, I got this bubble umbrella just for the purposes of hair care. Um, and I'm not at all superstitious, so I'm going to open it inside. Um, and that way, if, if on the way from my car to the bathroom and back, it's raining or windy, this can shield me from both of those things. So, um, and it's a bubble umbrella is much deeper than a regular umbrella. So it gives you a lot better protection. And since it's clear, I can see where I'm going too. Um, so I can do that and then I will be, have very little exposure to the elements on the way to work. So I can wear my favorite product because that's, Diva Curl is just my favorite as a product. And, um, but I don't know that for sure because I have not tried all the products. I'm very new to all of this. So, um, if anyone else is more experienced at curly hair care, um, give me a, a comment about uh, the product that you like the best and I still would like to try more of them. So, um, so that's it for this week's episode. Uh, stay tuned. Next week is either going to be about uh, my friend coming to look at my engine and answering some of my questions, or if we can't get that arranged by next week, I'm going to uh, work on installing some power outlets in my cabin because I'm really sick of the extension cords and I, um, I would love to be able to go to sleep in my V-Birth and plug my phone in at night right next to me instead of like having to put it out here because I can't reach um, and that kind of thing. So stay tuned for that, and also, if you're a patron, uh, check in on Patreon. There's going to be some bonus content this weekend. Okay? Alright, have a good week!